What's good you two? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joven and Tonic Fam, Crow Fam. I am back with some more bullish content for you guys in this video. If you are a diamond hand holder, you're a true Tectonian, stand up. The beers right now are trying to ruin the party, guys. The beers are trying to uh, crash the markets once again. They think that we're going to have a repeat of what we had in 2022, where it was down only for a full year. I really don't think that's the case and I'm going to get into it and I'm also going to explain, you know, why I just believe this is a short term correction for Tonic and how it correlates to the rest of the market. If you think Tonic is the only alt that is retracing right now, you have to reconsider and take a look at every other project uh, in the space right now, at least the fundamentally sound projects, even the top leading market mover itself right we're gonna break that down in this video guys if this is something that you're interested in please be sure to like comment subscribe hit that notification bell we are at 2080 subscribers let's get to 3000 please go and re-watch all of my previous tonic videos let's get all these videos to a thousand views plus my tonic playlist as well guys we're absolutely gonna crush it and take over the space this project is a great innovative project and nothing has changed the diamond handers win the people that stick around in the project reap the uh, the rewards the benefits remember like i said a reduction in the uh you know in the rewards and the staking rewards reduces inflation which creates more sustainability for tiny so overall long term it is it is a it is a good thing to help the project grow right now tonic is down nine percent on the 24 hour 21 million dollars in market cap 438k in 24 hour trade volume if we take a look at the chart you can see we're retracing back down we're going back down guys but this isn't just tonic guys look let's take a look at bitcoin and tonic like literally you could compare the two Bitcoin is taking a tumble down. Bitcoin is moving back down. So Tonic is following it, guys. If we take a look, let's see Crow, for example. Crow. Crow, what is Crow doing right now? Crow is doing the same thing. It's having a correction back down, guys. You can see on the seven day, on the one day, literally hand in hand. Big, bro uh, big brother and little brother, you know? What are you going to do in a situation like this, guys? What is what is your alternative? What is your option for you to do? I say you DCA, guys. This is the time you have a good entry on a project, right? If you were thinking about getting in Tonic and you was like, you know, a, a month ago. Let's take a look. A month ago, you were like, man, tonic, the Tonic price is a bit too high. I'm going to wait for the correction to get in. Now is your time. Because think about it, guys. We have been, you know we have been green <laughs> we have been on the upside from you know the start of january for like a whole month we were going to the upside it's only normal that we're gonna have a correction back down bitcoin is moving back down so the rest of the market is following right this is normal because we were so bullish for the past month um corrections are gonna happen along the way i still think this is the start of the bull i don't think we're gonna see 13k 12k 10k bitcoin and then you know another huge crash in the market i think this is just the beers poking their head out of their caves trying to scare everyone thinking oh no we're going back down again sell sell get out of projects run crypto is going to zero this is just a correction because we were so bullish for a whole month guys in my opinion right if you're uh if you're like halo slayer tonic i wanted to drop even more so he could buy some more guys from uh i am a iron man y'all getting scared after a huge run with a slight pullback always take profits now this is the thing right there's a lot of people that aren't sure uh short-term traders if you're in the project you truly believe in the project for the long term you're good you're just gonna hold for the long term no matter the ups and downs and then you're gonna wait until we get to the top or close to the top of the bull cycle to take your profits right a lot of people aren't good with trading because they're not that great at x you know at expecting where the markets would head next right some people could have took profits up here and now they could re-enter back down here right which is great uh the majority of people i believe you know if you're not experienced with trading you just hold and wait until the bull cycle take your profits right 
you just have to find good entries though. Right now is when you have a good entry, when the market is red. You never buy on green. When, when Tonic was up 10, 20, 30%, you know, you don't buy at those moments. You buy when it's, you know, when it's red, guys. This is when you enter the project, not financial advice, obviously, but this is when you enter projects, when it's red, when there's a lot of fear going on. And, you know, I really think this is just a short-term correction. And, you know, we'll see what happens, guys. From Davos 7, Tonic, tighten up your seatbelts and get ready to ride the wave. Goodbye to all the sellers left behind on planet Earth, everyone. The bounce back is gonna be huge. From 8, 3, uh, 3, 3, 3, it's a good time to be alive. They're not worried at all, guys. <laughs> you know what Davo and Ape are doing? They're diamond handing or they're DCA in dollar cost average in averaging in to tonic you know from uh tonic to the moon tonic stop freaking out this turn around this will turn around soon nothing goes up forever everything has a dip consolidation tonic is the future and that is a fact we've been bullish for a whole month it's only likely that we have a correction right and it's not just tonic that is correcting a lot of the market you know in general is correcting because bitcoin is <laughs> It, you know, it it, it, it kind of sucks that we have to follow the top dog, you know, when, when it dumps, you know, we dump as well. And because Tonic is a low cap altcoin, it, it, it affects the chart even more so, right? Uh, the Tonic would, you know, make further moves to the downside when Bitcoin decides to come down, right? But you could say the opposite in the reverse. When Bitcoin is moving up like a 10, 15%, Tonic is up two, three hundred percent. It's the same thing, right? To the upside and the downside. Where because of uh, Tonic's lower market cap, being a, a smaller market cap, it's easier for it to have bigger swings, whether it to be the, whether it's to the upside or the downside. So this is just normal, guys. Everyone that's freaking out, if you truly believe in the project, you you have conviction in the project stick to your plan stick to your strategy right stick to your plan don't get uh distracted don't uh derive uh don't stray from your plan from davo 7 oh dear i see the beers have come out of hibernation <laughs> typical from eight they'll soon be hell ransom to their own illiterate behinds <laughs> and this is how you gotta view it right from the future if in doubt, always remember to zoom out and have a cup of tea and a biscuit. Appreciate how early and cheaper things uh, in crypto are. Beer markets make millionaires and billionaires. With patience, get what you can, in my opinion, only. From And right here from Cryib. Just heard one of the reasons for the market tanking is rumor that the SEC wants to ban crypto staking in the USA. People are freaking out, but remember this, I know Tonic is not on an exchange. You can get it on CDC, DeFi, or VVS. I don't think it would affect even us who are in the US. Tonic is not centralized to any country. DeFi, decentralized finance. And that's from the moderators in Telegram chat who communicate with the team. They're anonymous. Also, I don't think any of you should worry about staking Tonic as far as the other cryptos. It might affect them, but I think we're safe. This is just a rumor at this point from the CDC CEO. Just prepare for things to crash hard. People are starting to panic, but Tonic family, don't panic. We'll be just fine. Watch them dump while we get some nice deals. So Cryib is waiting for his opportunity to enter. And right here, guys, if this truly is the reason for the dumps in the market, Cryib said it's a rumor, but this is why I say decentralized finance is the future. Why would they put a ban on this? Why would they put a ban on crypto staking? Because they realize, whoa, this is so beneficial over the free previous banking system. We have to put a ban on it. We have to put a stop to this because the majority of people are going to run when they find out about these type of uh, protocols. They're going to, um, you know, come in droves to the protocols and leave the, leave the previous systems behind. So if this is the reason that we're seeing so much red in the market right now, guys, I agree with Cryib. Don't panic. Be patient. Stick to your plan. Stick to your strategy. This retrace could create a great entry for you guys and, you know, uh, create better opportunities for you to get in at a better price for more upside in the future. The SEC to ban staking in the USA, that is some crazy stuff that, you know, 
uh, just proves what I've been saying about DeFi, guys. And since Tonic is a DeFi project, this wouldn't affect Tonic in general. Uh, but it's gonna affect the broader markets. Overall, they can't stop crypto. They can't stop DeFi. The train has already left. They can't put a stop to what is happening. They can't put a stop to the reset that is going to take place. Tonic is the bank. I also wanted to show you guys the DXY and how is it affecting the broader markets, right? Which in turn is making Tonic uh, retrace as well. DXY 103, right? from x uh wx dxy and btc well that was easy the dxy is making a move to the upside and then btc started tanking so tonic and the rest of the market is following it's not just tonic guys literally showed you guys it's crow i'm sure it's many other altcoins as well right from uh block diversity dxy is up and then btc See DXY right here is on the way. It's at 103 right now. So right now the DXY is sitting on a crucial, crucial uh, resistance line. It's 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 right there, right at the crucial at that resistance line. If it retraces back down, this was just uh, a bear trap. Then it comes back down to this 102 support. It breaks that. It's over. <laughs> it's over. We're right back to being bullish, guys. We're right back to being bullish. And this is why we see the retrace in Bitcoin. We broke this, we broke this uh, resistance line from Bitcoin that we we had a trouble breaking for the longest time. We finally broke it, but then the DXY started to make a move back up. So that's why we're seeing Bitcoin retrace, and that's why we're seeing Tonic and Crow retrace as well. And right here from Hollow, guys, the DXY sitting on this crucial resistance line crucial resistance line it breaks this the beers are out of hibernation you know they're gonna ruin the party but if it doesn't break this resistance resistance line it's gonna fall back down and then we're gonna turn bullish once again guys that's all it is right so i'm gonna uh dive into what cribe said about you know the ban on staking if that's if that is uh indeed the case that is you know uh the type of news that could make us bearish de indefinitely we'll see what happens i i'm not sure you know i think this is just a beer trap okay i really think so but i could be wrong uh we'll see how it unfolds though this is the time however when you dca into a project when the the project is in the red when the project has a lot of fear surrounding it this is when you dca Tiny fam, crow fam, thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Everything tonic and myself is in the description. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.